Who would you say was the most useless out of the Fantastic Four in those two movies? The most useless? Yep. Dang. Wow. Yeah. Honestly, that's probably a really hard question. I think those movies did a really good job at making them all useful in a way. I would honestly say the Human Torch is the most um, useless he character. One against Doctor Doom in the second movie. He single-handedly beat him, technically. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> nah, that, that yeah, was teamwork. He he With all their powers, though, and then they, he had help because it was a, it was his plan, though, so I can't really even give Reed Richards credit for that. And then what happened in the second movie when he fought Silver Surfer? That man picked him up by his fucking throat? No, but, uh, and, but yeah. Silver Surfer would have done it to anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, that's a fair point. All, three, all four of them. Sue Storm was too busy crying about her wedding. And no, no one else could have chased him down because Silver Surfer was running. No one else has That's the speed fair. on the team to keep up with him. Honestly, I don't even know how the Human Torch was keeping up with that nigga, to be he, honest. Because <laughs> Silver Surf was being generous. He said, you know what? Oh, yeah, it. yeah. He was like, like I'll, I'll let you, like, think you can catch me, and then, you know, cameras aren't looking. All right, nigga. Cut this shit out. Yeah. And they was moving, too. That was crazy. Yeah, it was a dope chase scene. Especially when he was, uh, when he, uh, Silver Surfer phased through the, the. Yeah, um, the board. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Right. Like, oh, come on. Oh, yeah. When he went to the building? Yeah, yeah. He, no, no, he was like, no, his response was, oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> that, that shit was fine. But Bro, yeah, uh, dragging him into space was crazy. Yeah, though. no, no. It was, it was almost disrespectful. He was petty for that. No. Low key, he was petty for that. And there was no way the human torch should have survived, survived that uh, fall. I agree. Uh, he was basically passed out to the last yeah, second. He was in space, bro. <laughs> this nigga came back like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Kirk yeah, is an alien, my nigga. You're human. Yeah, yeah facts. That's fair. Speaking of, did y'all uh, did y'all see uh, Invincible? Uh, yeah. The next the uh, bro, bro. That's there. That these these last what is it four or five episodes? They're yeah. gonna, bro. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. How you how you feeling? Uh, I'm ready for it. I just hate how. They waited till this year, and then they're like, oh, we're going to wait another, like, week to give yeah. you a release date. I'm like, bro, just say when the shit is dropping. Like, we have, like, five episodes left. That that aspect, the whole, like, releasing part of yeah. the aspect. In a few years, when we have all, like, whatever, three, four seasons together, I think it's going to be considered one of the greatest TV shows ever. Absolutely. To be honest. Uh, uh, greatest a, a car, uh, cartoon um, episode or series. Like, what? When Omni Man got Invincible to come to his, uh, the planet he's on, and yeah. then Invincible's like, nah, I fuck you. Like, you whooped my ass, left my mom, and like, Earth kind of hates me because of you. So yeah. you ruined my life. And it was smart for him to be like, yeah, I hate my dad, but I actually I can't get back because he's right. Because right. he, he was about to fly back, right. and he he's was like, like oh, I can't leave. Yeah, you're going to die out there. So I think you should just. He's like, stay. Mark, you can leave, but like, you're going to die. Yeah. So I'll let you leave, but. I just need you to see something real quick. And the more and more I realize, like, how OP, um, what's it, Omni-Man is. But it's funny because every time I hear this uh, director, I hear about this director, it's about him comparing Omni-Man to Superman. So I had saw, I think it was somebody from the Invincible, like, uh, like their camp. They said that Omni-Man could beat Superman, like, with no ease. Yeah. And I was like, maybe a Superman, like, his entire body's full of kryptonite, maybe. Yeah. But even then, not really, no. no. Like, Superman would dog walk, dog walk Omni-Man and then fucking hunt Invincible like it's nothing. I think um, maturing is realizing that Superman would beat everybody. 100% <laughs> he would. Like, but like, the way you design. The statement to say maturing. <laughs> yeah. Superman wins. Yeah. I mean, it, it's true, though. Like, put Superman, like, in the MCU movies. A lot of those movies yeah. end in, like, five minutes. And people try to justify it being like, well, Superman was, like, designed to be a shield. He wasn't really designed to be a sword, so people can, you know, manipulate him and use his morality against him. It's like, bro, all that shit's dead when you're <laughs> invulnerable and you can literally punch through moons and all that shit. But like, uh, punch through suns, like... Uh, didn't he, that nigga put all the planets on like a, ch a train or a chain and like drag them off yeah, to move the universe? The stuff he does is, <laughs> or punch people through universes, like the stuff he does is insane. Like just watch Brightburn. That's Superman without <laughs> any fucking home training, yeah. any 
fucking uh, mor- morality, anything like that. He's like, yo, I'm just here. Yeah, you knew people. It's always talking about mental health, nigga. You want to see mental health. Right. <laughs> One of my favorite characters is Super uh, Superman Prime or Super Warrior Prime. Yeah, he's OP. Bro. They're that, they're yeah, like, broken. it took every Superman, the fucking Justice League, uh, who else was it? I think the entire DC fucking like superheroes to stop him. And even then, they didn't stop him. Bro. That man fucking punched through reality. Brought back Jason Todd. All of that shit. Like, that man was fucking OP as shit. I just I just don't know what you're supposed to do. I mean, I guess there's like a, a Dr. Manhattan type character you can always, like, introduce. Well, like, yeah. Because Superman will always be held back by the fact that he can't, you know, see the future. Or he doesn't have telekinesis or uh, teleportation. He doesn't have one of those god powers. But his super strength in flight... Which is funny because it's not really a god power unless it's like really, unless right. you really have it. Right. It's like one of those funny powers. But if you have something like um, atomic kinesis or able to see the future, it's instantly a god power. Right. But yeah, Superman's that nigga. And low key though, like if Flash learned how to fight, he could he could be one of them ones. Yeah, and sp- super speed's another one of those. Yeah. Like it's not it, it's not a necessarily a god power, but if you're really fast, it can instantly become one. Facts. Just all just all for it. Super speed is disgusting. Like, it is one of the most slept on superpowers ever. Not I, yeah, it is. It is because it's it's one thing if you're a Superman, you're fast, strong, and you're um and you can fly. Like that's different. But when your base power is just super speed. You have a level on other people that you like you can react basically faster than anyone. Right. Like Flash can react faster than anyone on the team. They showed that when uh Red Rush was fighting um Omni Man when they were all fighting. Yeah. Red Rush was literally saving everybody because of his reaction time. And Omni Man caught wind of that. He said, Okay, well, I can't hit them, but the nigga I but see you mo- can hit yeah. Me. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, I can't hit all of y'all, but the nigga I see moving y'all, like if I just catch him one good time. That's it. But if Red Rush had just stuck to the game plan and not been greedy. Oh, facts. Because that's the thing with Super Speed. You get bored easily because you're, yeah. you're just constantly sitting through time. Nah, that I man, didn't get to lose his life because he was bored. <laughs> no, that's nah, what he, he was did. greedy. He was greedy. He went in for the licks when he could have just been. Like, he, he, he moved everybody right. out the way. And he said, you know what? Let me go ahead and just try and do something. Facts. Wait, left, for right, lick. left. Omni Man said, yeah. all right, yup, 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 got you. That's all I need. He was going for the dunk when he should have <laughs> just stepped to, stuck to uh, just like, going out the assist. Man, let him get a hit in. He said, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. I'm like, I'm going to catch you. Left, right, left, right. Boom. That's like in, uh, what's that X-Men movie? Uh, Apocalypse? Oh, yeah. With when Quicksilver? Quicksilver? Apocalypse said, do your thing, bro. I'm yeah. going to catch you. He said, yup, 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 and boom. That's all I need. So it's OP to an extent, but if you're a super, like when Flash went God mode on, what's his name, on uh, uh, Brainiac? Or was it, yeah, when yeah, Brainiac? Brainiac? Yeah, man. Like, it can go God mode. Like, it can, just having super speed can surpass all that. The invulnerability, the the, fl- uh, the flight, the strength, it can su- surpass all that. And I want people to know, Barry Allen is not the Flash, like, who you guys, like, oh, my God, he's the fastest. Fucking Wally West was that guy yeah. from... From what I remember, like from way back when, Wally West has been that guy. Yeah, like he's, I think, he's the fastest. Yeah, I think that. recently they just switched to I think because either Wally had died or something happened to him, but they have switched from Wally to Barry, and now Barry's the quote unquote new Flash. Oh, okay. I didn't know. That. But nah, um, yeah, that's just tough. Oh, what, what else movie? Oh, Madam Web. You want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> We know uh, we talk about that in the Patreon. Um, we talk about Madam Web. Yeah, Patreon. throw them spoilers in the Patreon. <laughs> I want to hear about this shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so check out our Patreon if you want to see our review of Madam Web. Um, what uh, What else are we gonna talk about on the Patreon? Um, I'm a, I'm gonna slightly go over Dune Two because I think y'all should see that. See Dune Two. That's a good ass movie. You'll see talk Dune about 2. it now or in the Patreon. Um, I talk about it now. We we only got a few minutes. 